Hello and welcome back to this Unity tutorial. Today I will show you how to work with scripts in Unity. There are some different ways how you can attach and use scripts. As you can see, we have this little platform moving up and down. So I will show you why it is moving up and down and how you can influence the speed. In the scene view or in the inspector, you can see that there is a script attached to the object. When we open up the script, you can see that there is a variable called speed. The speed is fixed to the value 5. So to tell Unity that we want this variable in the inspector, we have to write tag serialized field in front of this private variable. Back in Unity, when we open up our game object with a script attached, we can see that there is now a variable called speed. The name and the data type comes from the script. So you may now think, yeah, nice. I can see the variable and can change it, but I can change it also in the script. Let me show you something cool about this technique. So I make three platforms just by pressing Ctrl D and separate them a little bit here. So now I have three copies of my platform. For the first platform, I just leave the speed as it is. The second one I want to move a little bit slower. And the third one should move at full speed. So in the game mode we see that we have three platforms. Every platform has the same script, but every platform moves in a different speed. Another cool thing is, I can edit the value while I am in play mode. So I can make it faster, or even if I want to, I can slow and stop the platform. So you may mention that my full speed is 10. So why don't tell Unity that my full speed is 10? I can give the variable a range from null to 10. So I add a tag called range and give it null to 10. So back in Unity, you see that there is a slider appears in the script. I can move the slider in between my range. I think this is also nice when you collaborate with other people, because everyone knows the range of your variables. So let me show you what else you can do with script parameters. I added a platform manager to my scene. This platform manager can hold an array of game objects. You can give the array a size and simply drag and drop all the platforms into the array. So the platform manager also have an array of speeds. Every speed is for one platform. In the script you can see that the arrays are handled just as variables. Maybe it's not the best way to have two arrays for one object, so leave us a comment if you have any suggestions how to make it better. I also changed the script at the platforms. The script now has a bool variable that tells if the platform is moving up or down. So if I want one platform to move down at the beginning, I can change that now in the scene view. As you can see in the game mode, the variable is changed by the script. So I can not only use it to get something into the script, but also to get some feedback from the script. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, show us. If you don't, tell somebody you don't like. You may subscribe for more.